This video will show you how to connect an LCS Wi-Fi module to your Lionel Legacy command base. The components involved include an LCS Wi-Fi module, the starter cable that provides power to the module and connects it to your Legacy command base, and finally, a track power supply, in this case, a CW80 transformer. We'll begin by connecting track power from the transformer to the track and plugging it in. Next up, we're going to run a jumper from the U terminal of the legacy base to the U terminal of your track power transformer. Next, power for the command base. One end goes into the command base, the other end gets plugged into an outlet. Now we're ready to connect the LCS Wi-Fi to the command base. We're going to use the LCS starter cable. You need one of these per layout. One end of the cable has a DB9 connector. That's going to the command base. Another end has an LCS PDI connection. That will go to the Wi-Fi. And finally, here's a barrel jack to connect power for the LCS system, which comes from this little device here. First, connect the DB9 connection to your legacy command base or base 1L. Next, the PDI connection goes into the LCS Wi-Fi. You can use either of those inputs. Finally, hook up the power supply for the LCS components and plug that in. On power up, the LCS Wi-Fi looks for a connection to the command base. And while that's happening, the red light is on. Once it sees the connection, the red light goes off and the green LED starts to blink, indicating it's ready to go. Now, if the connection is missing for some reason and the power is turned on, the red light will illuminate and it won't go off. When you're using an LCS Wi-Fi with a Lionel command base, be sure that the base no base switch is set to the base position. In most cases, you should choose Access Point, which means the LCS Wi-Fi creates its own named Wi-Fi network that your smart devices, like an iPhone or an iPad, will connect to. There is a second option, Join to Network, which allows the LCS Wi-Fi to become part of an existing wireless network. However, for best performance, Access Point mode is recommended. All right, we are almost done. The last step is to connect our iPad to the new named wireless network created by the LCS Wi-Fi. We're going to go to Settings, General, and Wi-Fi, and we're looking for a network named Lionel LCS with a dash followed by four letters or numbers. Choose that network and return to the LCS app. Finally, connect within the app. When the connection is made, the green light will go solid on the LCS Wi-Fi. At this point, we are ready to run a locomotive. I'm going to address engine 50 and start it up. To add an additional device to your LCS system, such as a sensor track, take an LCS PDI cable sold separately Connect one end to the unused port on your LCS Wi-Fi and the other end to an unused port on the next device. Mm -hmm. 